How's it going guys? My name is Dead Gambit and I wanted to try something new. Uh I used to make videos in the past for game commentary. I stopped that because I got busy and then a few years later I got really into Roblox developing so I kind of wanted to try doing tutorials and so today's tutorial it's uh I consider this to be like a very lightly touched upon subject of uh, 3D armor basically from what I've from what I've seen and what I've found, most of the time people still use morphs or those buttons that you step on to like weld the armor onto you. But say you wanted to not have to go through all that and you probably are making an RPG and you want it where your character spawns in with some starter gear and like some starter armor. So I wanted to kind of show that it's very simple and um, there's different ways you can do it. Uh, this is the way that I found was easiest for me so I was just going to share that. So as you can see I have a little uh, R15 dummy here and over him is my armor pieces. I didn't name them yet because I don't really have to so basically what I'm going to start doing is since I already have my armor made and if you have yours like uh, like if you have your armor made I would like like try to position position it over a uh, over a rig and it'll be like It'll be like much easier to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to match each piece of the armor with where they are. Like this one is clearly over the left hand. So I'm going to select this part and the oh that's the foot and the rig's left hand and I'm going to group it. And basically you just do the same thing. This is the upper torso area. So I'm going to take the rig's upper torso and group that with the part. Let's see, this part is with the right lower arm. So I'm going to do that and group it. See, that's the right upper arm. Group it. Right uh, hand. Group it. Basically, just just do that. Left upper arm. Group it. And left lower arm. Group it. All right. So now we have that, and basically, I'm gonna throw these all into one um, group model. I'm gonna call it Epic Armor because clearly it is epic and we're going to name them based on where they are so this is left upper arm left hand left lower arm right upper arm right lower arm upper torso and right hand all right uh, next you want to make sure that nothing is collidable so we're going to take these parts here and make sure that can collide is off so it doesn't cause any like weirdness with the character basically um Another thing you're going to want to do is clear everything out of the rig's original uh, limbs. 
this is make sure that's clear because I've in the past when I've done this and I forgot to like remove all these it it wouldn't load like the armor wouldn't weld properly so just do that and uh, that's good for now so I'm just gonna move it over here um, Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take the rig's original uh, parts and we're going to set those to invisible because we don't want the player to see them. We just want the basic armor stuff around it. And we're going to start welding the parts to here. The reason why we took the rig's... Uh, the rigs parts is because we're gonna set these as the as the C frame. Uh, we're gonna have every the, the C frame of the model based on uh, based on these parts here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these welded. Now you could do uh, the model set C frame. That's another option, but uh, I mean you, you can do that, but I don't know. I, I prefer doing it this way. It, it's literally up to you how you want to do it. So basically, you select uh, the rigs part, you put the weld constraint in, and then you select the part the armor part I should say and you can actually just copy and paste it into another place rinse and repeat And make sure that the weld is actually in the uh, in the part and not the model because if it's not then it will not work it'll your the pieces will just fall off and they will not uh, it just won't look right okay so I welded everything the next thing I'm going to do is set each piece as my primary part Okay, so now they're all s have their primary parts in here. So that'll be where the C frame goes when we C frame it to the uh, to the actual player. It will go there. So now we're gonna go into the script. Now, like I said, this is just going to show you how to make it where the player enters with armor already on and uh, here's my little player enter as well as a player uh, respawn so basically when the player enters he gets the uh, the armor if he responds he still gets the armor uh, you can you can do it however you want it's all up to you so basically the first thing I'm gonna do is let's put the armor, our epic armor, inside of the server script, or server storage, my bad. And then we'll have this script put it on here. So we're going to reference it first. So local armor equals game dot server storage epic armor clone. So next, we are going to we're going to uh, get all the children that's inside of the armor. So we're going to do for index armor parts 
in pairs, armor, get children, do, um, and we're also going to make a loop for the player as well. For index, player parts, in pairs, so new player, dot character, get children, do, so, okay, this is player parts, is a base part, which basically means uh, if it's a mesh part, if it's a, uh, if it's a regular part, a wedge, a sphere, it takes into account all of those. So if player parts is a base part, then if armor parts that name is equal to player parts that name, I'm sorry, the armor parts that is talking about is just this model here. It's these models. And we already named them after what uh, after the limbs and the parts that are in the player. So if this model is the same name as like the player, one of the player's limbs, uh, then we're going to C frame the primary part. So it's gonna go. Armor parts dot primary part dot C frame equals the player parts dot C frame, and um, and then we're gonna start the welding. So local weld equals instance dot new weld, and where you can you can literally do this. Oops. Armor parts that primary part. You could do that, but it's best to parent the weld after you've made all the configurations. So weld dot part zero. So we're gonna put that as the player parts, and weld dot part one. We're going to set that to the armor's uh, primary part. And then the, and then we parent it to the primary part. All right, so let me look over. Oh, make sure. Make sure you uh, make sure that the it's parented to the player, or at least in the workspace, because if you leave this out, then it will work, but it will still be inside the server storage, and you won't be able to see it. So okay, so it looks it looks good. So now we're going to go ahead and test it out. Give it a second to load. All right. Oh, there we go. And now we have epic armor on, on our player. And when I reset, <coughs> I still have it. And that's basically that's basically how you d how you uh a way you can make 3D armor and give it to a player without having the have them like touch a touch a button that gives the armor or anything like that, and um, there's like a lot of things you can do with this. Like for the game I'm making, uh, I have it where you equip you can equip the uh, the armor and it gives you like extra health, extra defense, extra mana or whatever. You can like just do different things with it. 
Uh, of course, you'll need to go into a lot more heavy scripting when you get into like making it, making like the armor give players extra attributes or something like that. Um, but yeah, I might in another video, I might make it where. For those who want to have like an inventory and when you click on the uh or when you press a GUI button it gives you armor i might do that i'm not sure i'll see if i have time but uh that's basically that's basically all i had to show um thank you for watching uh please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it i'll probably make more tutorials they're gonna be very simple uh, this is my first time doing one, so hopefully the next ones will be far more better <laughs> than this. I'm sorry, like, if I, if, it, if anything was, like, confusing or anything, just ask me in the comments. I'll try to help you as much as I can. But, uh, anyways, uh, thank you, and, uh, I will see you next time.